guys so in today's video we are going to touch a little bit on the reveal sheets um there's lots of questions on it lots of um air projects so i decided that um i'm listening to you guys so i'm gonna redo a video and touch on some things that can be going wrong um with your process so First things first, I printed every color spectrum from light to dark on here to see if it makes a difference, the color um, that is being applied. Um, the initial reveal paper in the very, very, very beginning, not this uh, specific one, had an issue with um, certain inks, certain colors. Um, so then they revamped it and this is the updated. So we're just going to run the test to see if certain colors, um, affect the press. Remember, this is activated by the ink color. So, or by the ink. So if the color is very light and dull, that could very well be a problem and not activate, um, the, the poly coating that the paper has. So we're going to do one with, um, heavy pressure and then do one without pre-pressing okay because there's three reasons why this can go wrong your temperature is not reaching 375 as it should if you're pressing it right when your press got to 375 chances are the entire platen is not going to be heated evenly just yet give it about five to ten minutes after your press reaches its temperature unless you have a heat gun to confirm that your press is completely heated. What I also like to do is close the press and press for about 10, 15 seconds, get that bottom press nice and hot. Now these are extra steps that I do just to ensure that the heat is, um, is happening, you know, the pressure. I do have a Hotronics, which they do say that uh, the heat uh, disperse evenly. I've personally only used it a couple of times due to the size it's 11 by 15 so it's hard for me to go from a 16 by 20 back down so i have used it in my white toner because of course with white toner it requires um, a high-end press however it does work with this other press and it's not in the two thousand dollar range um price so Things you're doing, you could be doing wrong is adjusting your pressure. Has to be set to the highest pressure you can get uh, without your press popping back open. Secondly, the uh, uneven heat. Thirdly, you want to make sure you're lint rolling because if there's any specks of loose cotton, when you pull on the garment, it's going to leave, um, also leaving spots and holes in your design because the cotton is loose. So you want to lint roll and you also want to pre-press your garment to get it nice and hot as well. Um, those are just things, like I said, to minimize. Now, if you take note, the t-shirt has a certain way that the design lays. This is this way. So this goes up and down, mainly for cotton, it's up and down. I haven't seen it go any other way. So when you're pulling the image after you get done pressing it, you want to pull from top to bottom evenly, not diagonal because if you're stretching the cotton, then you're also stretching the hot poly coating that you're applying. So I'm going to real quickly try to iterate what type of pull. For instance, I'm gonna utilize this Epson. This is the design and you want to pull from the top so you're going to take the first corner obviously because it's hard to pull straight take the first corner and then straighten it out as you're pulling one consistent motion downwards okay do not pull sideways do not stop pulling and yank one consistent fluid motion downward straight down all right, the press needs 10 more degrees. I'm gonna close the plate in. It's 375 degrees for 18 seconds, heavy pressure. 
So guys, you want to make sure that that's what you're doing. And in this case, the way I have the design fitting on the image, I'm going to peel top to bottom this way. All right, we're almost there, guys. I did not lint roll, so let me go ahead and do that. Okay, so I'm lint rolling this garment. This is an old shirt I had, I cut up into pieces. Once again, I am laying this like this However, I am pulling this way because of the garment. All right. And I'm going to pre-press the image. And I'm also going to leave off. I'm going to pre-press the... So, see, I want to adjust my pressure. That that does not happen mid-press. Let's go to the press. All right. I'm going to test it anyway, because here I am being impatient like I always am. And we're going to press for 18 seconds. Remember, I'm going to pull with the cotton. So if your shirt is lined up, you're pulling top to bottom. Every shirt is like that. In my case, this way. It's hot. All right. Here's that. I'm going to wait for it to reach a higher temperature and we're going to do it again. And compare. We'll be right back, guys. I'm going to let it reach its temp. All right, guys, I want to take a second to show you the results. Guys, this paper touches every spectrum of color. Now, on the lighter colors here. As you see, it starts to, um, to dissipate as it gets there. So I'm going to reach out to the company with, um, with this. I do believe if you raise up the paper from plain to glossy so that it prints more ink on the, um, pretty much the transparent color, then we'll be able to tr um, transfer it. So, so far both presses have proved that the lighter colors don't happen. Okay. So we're going to, I'm going to get in contact and see if it's something I'm doing wrong on my end. But it does print every color from blue to BB blue to turquoise to lime green to hunter's green, purple, you name it. 